name is Claire. I just returned from a year living abroad in Australia with a newfound appreciation for the Emerald Isle. I want to do everything cool there is to do in Ireland and I'm giving myself two years to do it. This is my Irish bucket list. I'm here at Comic Con. Um, I'm bang on time, 9 a.m. exactly, because I got lost <laughs> on the way. So I gotta go, but I'm gonna be spending the day apparently like telling people not to touch stuff <laughs> and not to go in there. So hopefully it'll be good. And I've got my badge. The story behind wanting to work at Comic Con is that I was in San Diego in 2008 living there on my J1 and I was working for an events company. And I was doing security at events, I know. You did hear that right, security. <laughs> Mostly consisted of asking old men, sir, can you please take off your belt before you go through the metal detector? And explaining to Americans why they couldn't bring samurai swords into a children's fair. <sighs> anyway, I never got to work Comic-Con in America um, because I just stopped showing up to work one day and then <laughs> they surprisingly didn't give me the Comic-Con lot and all my housemates got to do it so I've always kind of wanted to volunteer at Comic Con ever since. This guy was getting loads of photos I couldn't figure out whether he was famous or whether he was a really good costume Um, so that baffled me but anyway yeah so delighted I volunteered in Dublin instead but I thought it was savage and this guy's costume was epic but my camera died so I only got two seconds of footage. Our post drivers are lovely first one let me on nowhere and then the second one he was like chatting away to me and he was talking to me about Comic Con and he slagged me off because it's such a nerd thing to do. <laughs> and then the only bit was like, <laughs> he was like, oh, you look good all dressed up in a tight outfit, like you're one of X-Men, you know, the one that wears no, like, barely any clothes. And I was like, oh, the awkward. 